Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love and we've got some single men lined up. Make some noise guys. Okay, okay. <laughs> so we are going to be bringing out some single women once they come around this corner one by one. If you're feeling her, you know, outfits on point, makeup on fleek, whatever it is, do not pop your balloon. However, if there's anything like maybe she says something that's a red flag to you or you just cannot see yourself dating her go ahead and pop that balloon and I'll go over to a few of you see why you ended up popping Are we ready okay all right so with that being said let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady hello welcome in what's your name my name is Nucci hey Nucci how old are you I'm 25 I'll be 26 soon okay and uh, what do you do I am an artist as well as a behavioral health tech, and I'm also a stripper. <laughs> okay, now what kind of artist are you? I rap. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, all right. So, anything we should be looking out for? Anything soon? Yes, actually, I dropped a song yesterday, so go ahead and check that out, you guys. Okay. Showgirl Nucci on YouTube and Instagram. All right, well, make sure to check that out. <laughs> now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I like to write music. Uh, I love movies. Like, I really like, I grew up watching movies. Like, my grandma would sneak us into the movies. Oh. Like, we would pay for one, go see another one, would okay. pay for it. So, yeah. <laughs> love movies. Um, I love to hike. I like to work out as well. Um, anybody that knows me knows that when I was, like, heavily into my working out, like, regimen, mm -hmm. I was working out, like, five, six days a week. I got really small. Clumped up a little bit, but I like mm -hmm. myself both sizes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um... Just security within yourself, confidence, um, a guy that has like goals mm -hmm. um, and actually like doing something to achieve them. Yeah. Okay. Now what are some deal breakers? Ooh, deal breakers. Um, a guy like if you if you've met me, if you've been around me humbly, I do get attention. So like if you know that about me and you want to pursue me, mm -hmm. then that's definitely something like if you tend to get insecure about the attention that I get, that's something that would make me like kind of stray away from you. Mm, okay, all right. So we did get um, a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Okay. All right, let's start with your name and age. Uh, I'm Trey, I'm 25. And Trey, what do you do? Uh, I'm a development project manager at a tech company. Okay. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, just a profession. Stripper. That's not my preference. Nothing wrong with you. No, honestly, preference. I thought it was going to be more people that would pop. So I understand. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Hi. All right. Now, is uh, he someone that's your type? Um, you're dressed very well. Great okay. smile. Just um, if we're going off everyday life, I probably wouldn't entertain. Yeah. Nothing against you. You're very handsome. No, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Now, is there something there that's making you say you wouldn't entertain him? Um, I think I just... Okay. It's I think okay. I just like a more like brolic -y guy, like a little oh, okay. bit more like, like, mm, like you know? Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that saying like no, you're, you're not that, I'm but just, just for me, I'm you're a big great. girl, so. I understand. Yeah. Let's go. All right, cool. Thank you. And let's go down over here. Your name and age? Uh, yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. And Key, what do you do? Uh, I own a trucking business. Okay, very cool. Now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, just a profession, same thing. Uh, very pretty girl. Thank just you. Professional, yeah. That's Sorry, it. I'm sweating. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. And now is Key someone that's your type? Love your complexion. Like that was definitely the first thing that caught my eye when I walked out here. Appreciate um it. love the waves as well. Um I probably would entertain you if you approached me. So yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Thank you. All right. So we still do have quite a few balloons left unpopped. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these guys a question, help you narrow it down. Ooh. Um Damn, I didn't really think about this. Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, do any of you guys have children? You are, do? Are kids a deal breaker for you? Yeah. Okay. So I'm let's, sorry. let's head on over here. Let's start with your name and age. My name is John. I'm 31. John, what do you do? Uh, I'm an area space tech and uh, I do content. So. Okay, got it. So she did pop on you for the kids. Um, why did you have your balloon unpop for her, though, prior to that? I mean, I'm not really shallow. You feel me? I like to get to know the person, so I was just trying to fill her up. Okay. Got it, got it. Now, I know the kids is a deal breaker, but yeah. is he someone that's your type? Um, You're so cute. Like, let me just say that. You're, like, really cute, but, like, 
if I'm going to be with somebody, I need somebody that's, like, fine to me. Like, you fine to, to a lot of girls, I'm sure. But yeah. to me, like, very cute. I love your dreads. I like the way you're dressed. And yeah. That's cool. I was it. Okay. <laughs> All righty. So, everyone else has no kids. Any other questions? Um... This is dumb, but like I do want to know your guys' signs. Okay. <laughs> okay. I wasn't still... gonna pop you based off your sign. I just want to know. <laughs> we'll start here with your name and age. Uh, my name is Dante. I'm 25. Dante, what do you do? Uh, I'm a famous adult uh, entertainer and also a uh, YouTuber as well. Okay, got so, yeah. it. So to answer a question, what's your sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Okay, a I like Sag. Sag. Yeah. Okay. Good. We'll come back. Name and age? Name Justin, and 26. Okay. And what do you do? And I own an online business, so, yeah. Okay. And what's your sign? I'm Cancer. Okay, I like Cancer. You guys are very, like, emotionally okay. intelligent and, like, just, like, intuitive when it comes to emotions. Oh, for sure, yeah. I like that. Yeah, and right. you guys, like, really make people feel comfortable. Like, no sign, I feel like, mm -hmm. is better at doing that than a Cancer, so. Yeah, that's how it is. For I sure. like that. Yeah. Name and age? Chris, 27. And Chris, what do you do? I got a couple jobs. Uh, I'm a realtor first, mm. and then I work at a community center with kids, and then I work at two nonprofits. Okay. Yeah. Right. I like that. What's your sign? Scorpio. I have a love-hate <laughs> relationship with you guys. Like, I love you guys, but you guys are toxic. <laughs> at least a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, at least you know. <laughs> Thank you. And we did get a pop. Let's head on back this way. Your name and age? My name's Ryan. I'm 26. And Ryan, what do you do? I own uh, two different media companies. Okay. So you did end up popping your balloon when she asked, what's your sign? What's up? What's going on? Um, yeah, it's just the sign thing. I just never got into that. Mm. And I don't even like speaking about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I understand. Like, a lot of guys are like that, so I don't fault you for that. All good. <laughs> All right. So prior to her asking about signs, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why so? I kind of wanted to hear her out. The profession thing did kind of take me through a little loop, but I was I was still open. Um, yeah. So, and, and she's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. So, <laughs> I was going to say peanut butter. I like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I was like, I was like, no, we can, uh, I just want to hear what she had to say. Got it, got it. Now, is Ryan someone that's your type? No, because you're just a smidgen too light skin for me. I know I'm light skin as well, but oh, shit. I like them a little bit brown to dark skin. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Let's go over here. Why'd you end up popping? Man, I, sh I'm, I think I'm light skin. I don't know. Like, you feel You're me? You're not as right? light as him. Light, light. <laughs> you should have gave yourself a chance. Hey, I mean, look, I didn't know. You should have been clear on me. <laughs> but it's all good. Well, though. I did say brown to light skin. To brown, me, like, you're. I mean, you well, are kind of like on the cusp brown. of light. Yeah, yeah. But you are, to me, you have a little bit more melanin. Okay, for you know. sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Damn, okay. So, but you want that balloon back or something? Right. Why are you biting go your ahead, lip get, like that? Ahead, yeah. yeah, go ahead and get okay. that balloon yeah. back. Yeah. Get that balloon yeah. back. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll be back for you then. He ended up popping as well. What's going on? Same thing. You know, I'm light skin, as everybody can see. She said brown skin to dark skin. Maybe I should have specified like like light bright bright type shit. Okay, yeah. okay. Like, There's nothing wrong with light brights at all. Like yeah, all yeah, complexions yeah. are beautiful. It's just a preference. Yeah, no, I feel. Yeah. But you, yeah, no, you're you're damn near the same color. Yeah, you guys are. I just know I'm, I've been light skinned my whole life. <laughs> yeah, I'm only dark as we in Arizona right now. Okay, all right. So you want him to get? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's up to him. It's up to you. You want the balloon back or no? Shit, I think I'm gonna just. I just want to see what else okay. is out there. No, okay. no problem. Shit. No problem. All right. So is he someone that is your type? Um, I love the way you're dressed. You said it. Very handsome. I probably wouldn't, in the real world, entertain. Okay. Type shit. Okay. So prior to her saying the whole light skin thing, why'd you have your balloon unpopped? Oh, well, she cold. Okay. <clears throat> My voice gone. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, she cold. Okay. Thank you. Just thick as hell, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we did get a pop is. down here. <laughs> All right. Your name and age? How you doing? My name is Nati. Okay. I'm 25. And Nati, sorry, what wait, are you? What's your name? Nati. 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 Yeah. Okay. Ethiopian name. Okay. okay. And what do you do? 
I'm a project engineer for a general contractor full time and then do a little freelance estimating on the side. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So why'd you end up popping your balloon? Well, first I'm an I'm an Aries. That, that, um, but yeah, when people ask me about my sign, I feel like they're making a lot of assumptions about the sign. To be honest, I don't believe in that at all. Yeah. Um, but you're cool though, you know, you're pretty and Thank you know, you. I think we'd be good friends, but yeah, that's I think so though. too. <laughs> and honestly, let me just elaborate on like the zodiac question. Like I would never cancel somebody because of their zodiac sign. Like that's dumb. But like I do like I'm a Virgo, so like a lot of the things that they say about Virgos is very true for me personally. So like I just like it gives me kind of like a little insight of what your personality could look like. But sure. obviously I would give you the chance to like, you know, indulge me in who you really are. That's cool. Okay, thank you. Let's head on back. Okay, so we do have two guys left. I'm going to go ahead and see if you guys have any questions for her. You do? Okay, let's start here. Uh, what is submission to you? Submission. What is being Ooh. a submissive woman? Submissive is, like, allowing my man to lead. So, like, um, let's say, like, let's say we want to buy a house or something. Yeah. And I want to live in one area, but you tell me that you want to live in this area for this, that, and this reason. I'm going to listen to you, and if I feel like, okay, my man has proved to me that he can lead. I think he knows what he's talking about. If we move here, it might not be the best idea, so I'm going to go with what my man says. What do you mean prove to you? Um, just, like, letting me know that you have, like, you know what you're doing, basically. Just, like, financially, spiritually, mentally, what your goals. If you say that you have goals and you haven't achieved any of them, then why would I let you lead anything that has to do with me? So just proving it that way. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions here? What city you stay? I mean, where you stay? Like I stay in Phoenix. You stay in Phoenix? Yes, sir. Or I stay in Cali, so I don't know. Ooh. How you feel. Long distance. Long distance. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So long this is a no for you. No, I, okay. I can't do that. Okay, so you did have him get his balloon back. Is he someone that's your type? He's handsome, yeah. I would I would entertain him. Okay. Oh, entertain me? Hold on. I would. <laughs> Hold on. I, what, uh, did I say something bad? You said entertain. Yeah. Entertain mean? the idea of getting to know you. Okay. Just like you would do that for me, right? I feel you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back this way. Why do we end up popping? To just, I had to think about what she was saying about the submission. So before I got famous, before I had anything, I had my ex of uh, three years. I was trying to marry and stuff like that. But she didn't believe in the hustle. She didn't believe what I was doing and stuff like that. I didn't have the results. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? With that? And she didn't believe in what was happening. And I told her what exactly was going to happen mm -hmm. to where I am today and stuff like that. And it's like, okay, I can't entrust that. Oh, I might not have it in five years. I might have it in two years. It might happen in six years. You feel me? But, like, you thinking that... Oh, you don't have the results yet. You know, a lot of people don't have results yet. You feel me type of shit? It don't come overnight. It don't come over in a year. It don't come over in three. You got to stick and ride. If you mean, and if you're not going to do that, all right. Beat it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I felt that. All right. Cool. All right. Well, Nucci, that is all the balloons popped. But we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Oh, hello, welcome in. Hi. What's your name? Tosh. Tosh, how old are you? I'm 25. And what do you do? I'm a registered nurse. Okay, very nice. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I love to travel. I really love Pilates. I love trying like yoga classes, working out, spending time with friends and family. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, first, you have to have a relationship with God. You have to be family oriented. You have to have great communication skills. Um, you have to be romantic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, you don't have a relationship with God. Um, the kids, it depends. Okay. It depends. It depends. Yeah. Um, you're not romantic. You can't communicate. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So, we did get a pop balloon. Okay. It's gone down over there. Okay. See what's going on. All right. Your name and age? How you doing? My name is Nati. I'm 25 years old. Nati, why did you end up popping your balloon? First off, you're very pretty. And uh, all my family's in healthcare, too, so I like the chair registered nurse. That's very cool. Um, right now in my life, I'm not really a, I wouldn't identify as a Christian or 
anything religious part um, <clears throat> but um yeah i guess that's pretty much it but i mean you're cool though i like you okay thank right. you <laughs> now is nazi someone that's your type i would i would say he's very handsome so yeah thank you okay, cool thank you all right uh, we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped um hmm okay i'm gonna switch it up I'm going to hand you a pick, and I'm going to have you pop two balloons based off of what you're seeing so far, who may not really be your type, outfit, whatever it is. I'm going to go ahead and hand that over to you. Okay. And go ahead and pop those two. Um, uh, okay, and one more. Okay. Um, Okay, let's start over here since we're here. Name and age? Uh, Dante, uh, 25. And Dante, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, you melanated. Bro, chocolate <laughs> man. Hey, haven't seen one like that in Arizona in a long time. So, okay. hey, it looks smooth, you feel me? <laughs> Got it. So, why did you end up popping his balloon? Um, You just seem very flashy. Like, the teeth, the piercing. Yeah, it's very flashy. I don't like flashy men. Oh, this was actually subtle today, too. <laughs> oh, oh really? yeah, this was subtle. Ooh. So that means you are flashy then. Oh, well, I got everything I got. You know okay. what I'm saying? <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? If you see my garage, if you, you're probably going to call me flashy. So, like, got cool. It. Like, it is what it is. Okay. All right. And then we did pop one more. Let's head down over here. Okay, your name and age? John, I'm 31. Right. And, John, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I mean, she fine. You feel me? I love a chocolate woman, so... I see you blushing, but yeah, that's why I had my uh, um, balloon unpopped. Okay, got it. And now, why did you end up popping his? Um, I don't really like dreads. That's why. That's why. I like a cut, nice cut. But yeah, that's the only I reason. I thought she was going to be with the uh, Sorry. J Jamaican type blue. You feel me? You just got the safari going. You feel me? But I mean, <laughs> I feel you. you. I feel you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, all right. Name and age. Chris, 27. Okay, Chris, why did you end up popping your balloon? Because you don't like dreads. And I used to have dreads, and when it's summer, I'm going to put, put them back in, so mm -hmm. she going to hate me. <laughs> I mean, I like them pull back. Yours look nice. But I appreciate okay. it. Yeah. But you're very pretty, though. Thank for you. For real. Thank you. And now, is he someone that's your type? Um, I don't know. I have to learn more. <laughs> oh. More about him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, mysterious. Well, right, right. Yeah. We'll let her slide with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we do have four balloons left unpopped. Go ahead and ask these guys a question to help you narrow it down. Um, okay, so what do you guys like to do for fun? Okay, let's start here with your name and age. My name's Ryan. I'm 26. Ryan, what do you like to do for fun? I like to stay active, so I like going on hikes. I like going to museums. I think I'm very much a morning person, so less about nightlife activities and more about anything we can do early in the day. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Good. Yep. Okay. Name and age? My name is Justin, and uh, my age is 26. Okay, and now, uh, Justin, what do you like to do for fun? I like to go skating, you know, like roller skating and everything. You know, I'm real active. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I love to play basketball, too, you know, so that's what I love to, love to do, you know. And okay. I love to eat different food places and everything, too. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go on over here. Your name and age? Uh, I'm Trey, 25 years old. Trey, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, I I love friends and family. I'm a very big family-oriented person, whether it's chosen family or biological family. I spend a lot of time with my pastors, my friends. I have some friends that live in other states, so I'll get on the game with them from time to time. But that's really it. I'm a really relaxed person, but I love adventure. Like, I, I'm in a part of my life where I'm doing stuff that I enjoy. Like, I just went skydiving. I'm doing this. I'm putting myself out there trying to do stuff that I enjoy, learn more about myself. Okay. Name and age? I'm um, Key, 28. Okay. Key, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, so for fun, I like to, yeah, I'm a laid back guy, real chill, simple. Uh, just hang out with friends, catch a sports game here and there. Uh, you know, take a walk in the park, something, you know, catch a movie. I'm, I'm low maintenance. I don't really do too much, so. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. really it. All right. <laughs> okay, so based off of all this information you heard, I'm going to have you pop one balloon. Um, can I ask one more question? Next round. <laughs> uh, um, okay, I'm popping his. All right. right. Why do we end up popping his? Um, I just like the rest of their answers better. I mean, nothing you said is wrong. Like, I like to work out, too, and do the same things, but I just like their answers better. Cool. Yeah. 
So, Ryan, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? I mean, she seems really mature, and uh, I know you said you're a nurse, right? Yes. That's a hard thing to get into and takes a lot of discipline and, like, so I'm just a great person. Yeah. Like, all around, Thank like, 360. You. Thank you. All right. And we do have two guys left. Oh, three. He was hiding his balloon. <laughs> we do have three guys left. Go ahead and ask them another question. Um, where do you guys see yourself in five years? Okay. Where do you see yourself in five years? Investments, real estate, you know, get into that, you know. And uh, honestly, I want to do some traveling, too. I want to do a little traveling and everything. So, yeah, that's the main thing right there and progressing in business, yeah. you know. So, that's okay. what I like. Okay, let's go on over here. All right, and what was your question again? Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, in five years, I see myself building. I think five years, it's it's good to have an idea of what you want to do. I'd like to be like, have a higher paying job, have a have a home instead of just an apartment. I'd like to be building with my family. But I think the the best thing about looking forward is like having just like a purpose and a, and a knack to go forward. Mm -hmm. Like if you asked me five years ago where I saw myself in five years, I wouldn't say here. I'm so much farther than I was in a different area, like in a different direction. And so I just see myself moving forward. Okay. Okay, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, in the next five years, hopefully, uh, you know, I plan to keep growing my business, uh, be a homeowner, marry, at least have, you know, maybe one kid by then. Uh, yeah, but I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop. It's nothing, nothing against you. I mean, you're a beautiful girl. It's just, uh, you seem very like, you know, soft-spoken, real chill, laid back. I am too. So I need someone to kind of like on the opposite spectrum of that, you know, Okay. that's really it. Yeah, okay. I am. I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so okay. that, that's, that's it. But yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. But she was someone that is your type? Yeah, she she's very pretty. Uh, you know, I probably, I'd definitely approach her if I seen her out. Got it. Okay. okay. Now is he someone that's your type? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Okay. So we've got our two guys left. Guys, any questions for our girl? You got one? What's your love language? Um, I would say my love language is words of affirmation. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, acts that. of service. Let me change that. Acts of service. That's acts my service. love language. Yes. Okay. Yes. For sure. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. What? Let's switch it to him. What's yours? Yeah. See, I'm a real affectionate man. You feel me? So... I'm big on like I don't know where that goes into like affection, uh, what, uh, physical, yeah, yeah, physical touch because you know it's actually reason because like I got two loving parents at home. You feel me, mom and dad. That's what that's just what I'm used to seeing. You know they got a good relationship with each other, so you know that's why I picked up on it. You know, so that's what I like. Okay. Yeah. Any questions down here? Am I answering her question? Or, no, no, you have a question for her. Oh, what's your what's your purpose in life? Do you know what you're here to do? Not just be an RM, but what are you here to do? Um, I definitely believe I'm here to help people in some way. That's why I became a nurse. But I also have an upcoming business. Um, I invent children's toys, so dolls. Um, growing up, I never really seen many dolls that look like me, so I've started a business in which I'm creating dolls that look like me. So, yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Sounds good for me. Okay. <laughs> All right. It is time to pop. Out of these two guys left, whose balloon are we popping? Yes. Um, <laughs> All right. Where do we end up popping his? Um, he won me over with that. How he was raised in a household with two parents, and yeah. he just grew up seeing like love, and that's really important to me too. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's okay. why. But you're very handsome, Thank you. and I'm sure any woman will be lucky to have you, but yep, that's the reason. Okay, so why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Uh, she hit the necessities, and she qualifies for the preferences. You're gorgeous, which is Thank a necessity you. for me. You love God, which is number two on that list. You're open and honest and transparent, and that's phenomenal, and you have family value, so that's fantastic, so I... Yeah. Look, I was ready. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let me bring you on up. Bring you on up. Come on up. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. Any final questions? Nope. I don't have any more questions. You ain't got no questions? Nope. Let me see. I ain't got no questions over here. Okay. Go over here. Go over here. All right. So is it a yes for you for her? It's a yes. And is it a yes for you for yes. him? We got a man. Let me take this mic. You guys can go on up.
up. <laughs> Woo, make some noise for them, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome Hi. in. What's your name? I'm Simone. Simone, how old are you? I'm 24. And what do you do? I am a full-time content creator, lifestyle and beauty content, and then I'm currently in my master's program at Pepperdine uh, for clinical psychology. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, so I am a poetess, I'm a writer, a podcast host. Um, I just love everything, creative, arts, everything like that. Cool, cool. Yep. Uh, what are some things you like for in a man? Um, I like a man with a higher education level, wisdom, um, communication, understands uh, emotional regulation. Mm -hmm. um, those are, that's, that's it right there. That's vital. Okay, yeah. got it. Put your makeup. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> and now what are some deal breakers? Um, I would say lack of like, just not like being able to like fully like feel and communicate. Mm. I think that's a disruption. Uh, a man that doesn't that uh, gets like weary about being out with me and understanding that I get attention and that I get looks and I don't want no man like being angry at me about that because mm. uh, like he's gonna be my man like I'm a, we look good together type of shit you know okay <laughs> um and then like somebody who's just like stupid sorry I just can't do that I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, I just can't. I'm sorry. That's your preference. No, your that's preference. <laughs> but that's fine. It's okay. We'll do that. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we don't have any pop balloons. So oh, okay. what's going to happen is I'm actually switching on over to you. Oh. I'm going to okay. give you a pick and I'm going to have you pop two balloons based off of what you're seeing so far. Whoever may not really be your type, whatever it is. So okay. let me give you that and go ahead and pop those two. Okay. Okay, one more. Okay, let's start right on over here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Ryan, I'm 26. Okay. And Ryan, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I just wanted to hear her talk more and hear her out. Okay. Yeah, it was like too soon to decide. Got it, okay, but she's someone that's physically your type? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Got it, got it. And now, why did we end up popping his? Well, you know, unfortunately, I wish that I could hear you speak because I feel like you have a great vocabulary and great grammar and mm. can carry yourself well. <laughs> um, but from the looks of it, in reality, I just don't do light skins. Oh, okay. Don't Tough. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he can't change that. It's like, I'm not that's mad at him. I'm like, you can't do nothing about that, but all it's all right. Good. But that's, yeah, that's okay. it. Cool, thank you. And then he did pop one more down here. Yeah. Your name and age. My name is John. I'm 31. And John, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I mean, she nice, you feel me? Uh, she read my type, you feel me? Uh, I like light-skinned women, so I'm just trying to see how she what. Got it, got it. And why did we end up popping his? You didn't make eye contact with me once while I was speaking. That's, I respect and I And I like, I love a shy, timid man who's going to let me speak for him because I'm a, I, I'll speak for you if you want me to, but for you not to make eye contact is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll check it. Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right, let's head back and let's go ahead and ask these guys a question. Okay, um, what do you do for work? Okay, name, age, what do you do for work? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Dante, I'm 25. Uh, I also am a famous YouTuber and adult entertainer and also do bodybuilding. Yeah. Adult entertainer, you said? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, let's go on over here. <laughs> Your name and age and what do you do? My name is Chris, I'm 27. And I got a couple jobs. I'm a realtor first, then I work at a community center, and then I work at two nonprofits. Okay, what's the nonprofits about? It's about helping black people. And then I got another one where I help black girls with my mom. Okay, yeah. understandable. We appreciate your service. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your name and age, and what do you do for work? Uh, I'm Trey, 25. I'm a development project manager at a tech company. Okay, Trey. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Name, age, and what do you do? How you doing? I'm Nati. I'm 25. And I'm a project engineer for a general contractor. It's my full-time gig, um, but I also do a little freelance estimating on the side. And what's your freelance? Uh, estimating. So oh, like estimating. Oh, okay. Specialty contractors. And oh, so you go with numbers and shit? You know your math? Okay, okay. That's good. <laughs> well, I don't know shit about math. Name, age, and what do you do? <laughs> uh, I'm Key, 28, uh, and I own a trucking business. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. All right. He said that's it. <laughs> that's good, though. You're a business owner. What are you talking we about? We got to pop right here. Why do we end up popping? Out of vernacular, I'm not too big on cussing oh, in these spaces. Oh, yeah, so. that's not going to be. Yeah, we ain't going to work with that. Yeah, honestly. That's that. okay. That's good. <laughs> Shit works out. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, I apologize. Stuff works it's out. Okay. It's okay. So is he someone that's your type? No. Oh, 
Okay, why not? Um, okay. okay. No, it's just like, no, I love the outfit. I love the outfit. It's cute. Um, honestly, for me, it's just like the physical appearance. That was it. Yeah. Oh, good. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so based off of those responses you heard, hmm, we did get a pop, so I'm going to have you just pop just one. All right, so why do we end up popping his? Um, you know, I love the work ethic. I love you, you sound smart. You're just um, physically, again, it's just not the vibe. Okay, is there something specific? Just the height. That's it. Okay, all right. <laughs> Thank you. So you did have your balloon <laughs> unpopped for her. Why so? Yeah, she's very pretty. I like the tattoos too. I was noticing those. That's pretty cool. But yeah, yeah it's pretty much it. Okay. I'm realizing the tattoos. Can I take that back? Can you put more air in this balloon? <laughs> <laughs> this girl. Let's head on back. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so okay. we do have three balloons left unpopped. Go I ahead do. and ask these guys another question. Okay, what's your um what is your perspective in regards to gender roles and the expectations of a woman in your relationship? As in traditional household, what like how do you want your woman to be when mm -hmm. it comes to? All right, that's a perfect question. All right, yeehaw. All right, so naturally, I'm from Michigan. Originally, my parents both grew up together and stuff like that. You feel me? Married, raised me and stuff like that. My morals, my traditional, by myself. I want to have a family. I want to move back to the country and stuff like that. I have acreage, a lake, et cetera, et cetera. That's what I'm building towards right now. But for my woman, she has to be willing to let me lead and let and follow with suit type shit. You feel me? I want her to be able to have her own hustle. You feel me? Do whatever she wants to do and stuff like that. I want her to have her own dreams, aspirations too. But obviously, I'm going to be the man of the household and stuff like that. You feel me? So I got to be able to make the priority. You feel me and shit? But I want you to still be able to ride by my side. Are you prepared to do that? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I, I've tried to do it before a few times, and a lot of women are not uh, – uh, emotionally capable and also communicative. Was this before no, or after the adult entertainment? No, this is during as well okay. and before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good answer. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Add it to your question. Can you repeat it? <laughs> yeah, I'll repeat it. Uh, it's what is like your perspective and how do you perceive like your relationship and your gender roles when it comes to your woman? I feel like in a perfect world, you know, I want the traditional sense, you know, I'll be able to take care of you, but you know, shit happens. And so if I'm if I'm down, I need a helping hand. I need you to be there to be able to help me. Okay. That's an example. And our last guy over here, the answer to her question. Uh, yeah, to answer her question, I'm more so traditional. Uh, but I am, like, I do agree with teamwork, you know what I'm saying? So, like, if you if you cooking, I'm washing dishes, you know what I'm saying? If you're washing clothes, I'm folding, drying, and whatnot. So, you know, it's just, just you know, helping each other out. You know, that's it. All right. Good answer, good answer. Okay. All right, you know what time it is. It is time to I pop do. a balloon. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's stay right over here. Why'd you end up popping his? Um, honestly, it was just, A, first off, me having to repeat the question. Um, second off, it, then it was the answer. So I just, I felt like you could have definitely... If you had a good, a better answer, then I could have like, you know, sidetracked that that first part. But I hate repeating myself. Oh shit, that's cool. Okay. All right. So why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Is she cute? Cool. Okay. Okay. You know, she, you know, she she's smart though. She well put together. Mm -hmm. You know, she got a lot going on. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we do have two guys left. Guys, any questions for our girl here? one down there we'll be back <laughs> come on over come on over. i'm scared <laughs> <laughs> all right what's our question uh yeah do you do you have any kids i do i have one and he's two years old okay yeah i'm sorry okay so kids are a deal breaker yeah it's just the kids uh especially at that young of an age uh, yeah it's just yeah, not I'm something i'm you know yeah. that's it but beautiful girl though i Thank definitely you. I, you know i would approach you Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, is he someone that's your type? Um, Actually, yeah. Yeah, he is my type. He is my type, yo. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> I saw, can't change Thank that. you. <laughs> and then our guy over here ended up popping as well. Why'd we end up popping? Only because of that, babe. The you kid. feel me? Well, mm -hmm. traditional man, I want my woman to come pure. I don't care about the whole societal door with the 
bodies and shit like that, you feel me, that I really don't give a fuck about type shit, you feel me, but it's like having to start with another person's child and shit and the things that come with it and stuff like that, you feel me, I want to start my own family from scratch. Uh, and I had raised in a full household, my brother's sister, everybody, my parents stayed together, and you know what I'm saying, it's just, I have that, I have that moral in me, I just can't, and it's oof, a wish, but you can't change shit sometimes. And I get that, um, especially with you growing up in a two-parent household. I completely understand that because that is a very valid foundation and principle on how you look on relationships. I grew up in a single mom household, so I completely understand where you're coming from, and I accept that. So that's good that you know that by yourself. I love that you have your boundaries. I appreciate you. Yeah. You're cool. Stunning. Like, Thank you. Do your Thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. Well, unfortunately, that is all the balloons pop. Yeah. So we do thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for her, guys. <laughs> Let's take this mic. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Daniela. Daniela, how old are you? I'm 23. And what do you do? Um, I'm a medical assistant in dermatology. Okay, very cool. Um, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, for fun, I like to play with my dog. Um, sometimes I go to the gym. I like to play tennis. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, I like a man who loves animals. <laughs> um, very empathetic, always nice to the waiter, waitress. Mm. Um, oh. Um, he's not nice to them. He's not nice to the waitress. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, just overall, like, really gentle with people. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are some deal breakers? Um, deal breakers... Probably, I feel bad, but probably kids, having kids. Um, yeah, that's the only one I can think of for okay. now. Yeah. All right, so yeah. we did get some pop balloons. Let's go ahead and okay. head on over there, see why they ended up popping. Okay. All right, your name and age. My name is John. I'm 31. Okay. John, why did we end up popping our balloon? I popped my balloon because I really don't like animals like that. Uh, oh, Okay. That's okay. People, I be seeing people kiss their dolls in the mouth and stuff like that. Like, I, I'm not that type of guy, so. Yeah. And then you mentioned kids, you feel me? And I do got two shorties, so. Okay. It was a pop regardless, so. But yeah. you find us. So I will approach That's you. okay. Okay. Got Thank it. you. Now, is John someone that's your type? Um, I don't really have a type, to be honest. Okay. I would, I'm open to a lot of, like, a lot of guys, so. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, John. All right, let's head on back. So we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. So I'm actually going to switch it on over to you, mm -hmm. and I'm going to hand you a pick. Thank there you. you. Go. And I am going to have you pop two of these balloons. So okay. I know you say you don't really have a tie, but, you know, you kind of know what you don't like yeah, when you yeah. see it. So of course. go ahead and pop those two, and then I'll see why you ended up popping after. Um. I'll do two. Okay. okay. And then one more. Um, okay, let's start right here. Your name and age? I'm Trey and I'm 25. Okay. Trey, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I just wanted to hear her out. You know, she's not, she's not attractive. She's cute. And so I just wanted to hear her out, hear kind of more about who she is. Okay, got it, got it. So is, we end up popping his. Why did we pop his? Um, probably not what I usually go for. I like your eyebrows though, and I do like oh, the pearls. You. I love pearls. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think okay. that's all. Yeah. Got it. Praise <laughs> God. And then we did pop one more. Let's <laughs> head on back. Your name and age? Uh, Dante, I'm 25. Okay, and Dante, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Wanted to hear her out. Gotta see what I would I think about it, but I had to hear her out. I didn't want to be that person. Okay. So is she someone that is your type? <laughs> I, okay, so like, it's there's okay. only two. There's only two things. Type shit. Your voice is kind of naggy. I ain't gonna lie. It kind. Oh. I didn't like it a little bit. Type shit. That's all. And then also the like, the body type kind of shit. You feel me? But I was trying to like look past a few things. That's all. Okay. Yeah. So why did we end up popping his coming? Um. Look, I think the cowboy look is not for me, but it looks good on you. I appreciate you. Bro. So. Thank you, baby. Yeah, I think that's all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm now going to have you ask the remaining guys a question. Mm, okay. Um, oh, I have a good one. Okay. Um, what is your inner child into? 
Like what, what type of things bring out your inner child? Okay. Start over here with your name and age <laughs> and what type of things bring out your inner child? My name is Ryan. I'm 26. And the things that bring out my inner child, I think it's the same, like, I've almost always been into the same things since I was a kid as, a, as now. So animals, number one. Like if I see a, an animal or a dog or something, I'm running over to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> other things that are my inner child, I like sci-fi stuff. I like Bigfoot, aliens, whatnot. If I see that, I get excited. So maybe that might answer it. I don't That's know cool. if that yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age and the answer to your question. Chris, 27. And I'll say something that brings out my inner child is probably basketball and anime. I love anime. I love animals too, but I don't think that brings out my inner child though. But <laughs> with basketball too, like I, I'm real competitive. And so like I'm, I'm really smooth. Like I like to be chill. But when I get on the basketball court, it's a whole different person. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's go down over here. Your name and age and what brings out your inner child? How you doing? My name is Nati. I'm 25 years old. Uh, things that bring out my inner child, probably things like board games, you know, competing like that. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of little cousins and nephews and nieces, yeah. so being around them, they bring out my inner child, you know, playing with them. Cool. Okay. I like it. Name and age and what brings out your inner child? Yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. Uh, that's a tough question, but I'd probably say, like, the holiday season, like Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. Christmas, uh, just, you know, everybody off work, people, you know, family coming to town, uh, spending time together, whatnot, like, it's, you know, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. That's a good one too. Nice. Let's mm-hmm. head on back. Okay. All right. I guess I should ask you too. What brings out your inner child? <laughs> um, <laughs> for me, probably um, finding like shells at the beach and stuff, or like if I find like a little jellyfish or something. I don't know. Oh. Like little. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but I always liked finding stuff at the beach, like a little, even like little hermit crabs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I am going to have you pop one of these guys' balloons based off of what you've heard, seen, whatever it may be. Okay. Um. <sighs> Sorry. I know it's tough. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, why did we end up popping his? Um, I think the holidays are cool, but I just feel like there's very specific things that, like, bring out your, like, who you are, like, since birth. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. That's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So why did you have your balloon unpops for her? Uh, she's a pretty girl. Uh, very attractive. Uh, I love the hair. I like the curls, thank you know. You, thank you. Yeah. Now, is he someone that's your type apart from that response? Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's head back. And we do have three guys left. Go ahead and ask them another question. I have, okay, yeah, I have three. Um, yeah. There we go. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, hmm. What is, oh, sorry. What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? Mm-hmm. Okay, what do you do in your free time? I like to walk, so I walk places frequently. I like shopping. I like, yeah, thrifting. I like antiquing. Um, that's pretty much it. That's my main free time activities. Mm-hmm. Okay. How about over here? What do you do on your free time? I ain't going to hold you. I'm pretty simple. Mm-hmm. I, I like to play basketball. Like I said, I watch a lot of anime, and I smoke a lot of weed. Okay. Straight to it, yeah. Okay. I, mean, I ain't going to lie to you. Okay. Smoke I appreciate a lot. it. No, I appreciate it. <laughs> Let's go over here. <laughs> okay, what do you do on your free time? Well, I'm pretty busy. So I only get so much free time, but whenever I do, I like to try new things. Um, so try new food, go new places. Mm, yeah. Um, I'm pretty new to Arizona, so, you know, just mm. discovering the area. Getting to know the place. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. You know what time it is. Time to um, pop. Okay. How many? Uh, just one. Just one? Mm-hmm. Um, Unless you said you got more to pop. You got more to pop? <laughs> Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, no, not okay. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, I might. Sorry. Okay. All right, where do we end up popping his? Um, I think it's two things. One, not super, like, physically attracted, but also, I think, like, 
I don't know. I don't even really have a problem with weed and stuff, but I just don't want to smell like it. And I don't want you to smell like it either. I always smell good. Um, <laughs> no, I believe it. I believe it. But yeah, some of it you just can't help. Some of it you can't control. So, mm. okay. yeah. Yeah, oh, I mean, cool. I've, been, I've been doing this for years since I was 12. I know how to control myself. Oh. But not, not to, I know how to not smell like weed is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Okay. 12. <laughs> so you did have your balloon and pop for her. Why so? And she's pretty. She's cute. Not really necessarily what I'll go for, her, but I was trying to hear her out. Got it. Got it. Okay, cool. Okay. Our two remaining guys left. Any questions? Okay. Let's head down over here. All right. What's your question? What are your love languages? Or do you have a top three mm. favorites? Yeah, that's a good one. I think mine are probably um, love languages. Mm. Probably, I like acts of service. And quality time is probably number two, but I think acts of service is like way up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How about you? What are yours? Acts of service is definitely up there. Yeah. Um, quality time is also up there. I'm also a physical touch. Honestly, I'm going to be honest, I like all five. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a mix of all of them would be great, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's a good answer that I like all those. Okay. Any questions over here? Um, who's one of your role models? Oh, that's a good one. Um, probably my dad. He's very um, he's like the cook of the house. He's the he's like everything. Um, my parents have been together forever, but my dad is like. He's a real like acts of service kind of person. Um, yeah, I think I take after him too. And he's just, he's very empathetic, even if he doesn't show it all the time. Um, yeah, so definitely my dad. Respect, okay. Yeah. Who's cool. yours? Um, I have a few, but I would say Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Random as hell. Uh, Denzel's just cool as hell. Like, okay. cool, talented. Him and also like Donald Glover or Childish Gambino, because he's a multifaceted artist mm -hmm. that I respect as well. So there's two. Cool. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are down to two guys. I am gonna have you pop one of theirs to see if the other is your match. Mm. Can I ask a question? Just a little question. Okay, go okay, ahead. Go okay. ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um. What is your red flag or your toxic trait? So what's the toxic trait they have? Yes, yeah, okay. yeah. That I'm opinionated. So I have just strong opinions on things. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. What's your toxic trait? I'm a pretty great guy. <laughs> <laughs> I would say... Uh, when I break up with someone, I like to break up on bad terms. I don't, I don't like to miss the person at all, so mm. that's probably my toxic trait. But other than that, I'm, I'm a pretty good guy. So. Mm. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see why our guy back here ended up popping. Okay. Yeah, let's see. What's going on? Yeah. I was thinking about it, and I just thought they looked like a cute couple together. <laughs> um... I think she, I mean, beautiful, and I think you exemplify femininity, which is a really you, great trait you. that is missing to the, in these day, like this generation. So I don't really have anything negative. I just wasn't feeling like a romantic spark. Uh, that was it. Okay. But you're really, you have so many great qualities that I liked a thank lot. That's you, why I, I stayed to the end because I was like feeling it. But yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now is he someone that's your type? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank cool. You. Well, let's bring out our last guy up here. Let me have you stand on this side of me, and okay. I'll have you stand here. All right, y'all. Any final questions between the two of you? Now we can get into that later. I think I'm good. Um. Um. I can't think of a question. Okay. Yeah, I can't think of a question, but I might have to pop it though. Okay. I don't know. Why did you want to pop? I know he beat you to it, but I know it's okay too. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I think he's not super physically my type. Okay. Um, yeah, I do think you're handsome though, and I like your hair. You have really pretty hair. Thank you. 
<laughs> Sorry. Let me have you head back over there. <laughs> all right. Well, that is all the balloons popped. We do thank you so much for coming on. Let's go thank ahead and give you. it up for her, guys. Thank I'll take you. The mic. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. Hi. What's your name? Raja. Raja, how yes. old are you? I'm 24 years old. And what do you do? I'm a law student. Okay, nice. Uh, what are some things I like do for fun? I love to travel. I like to journal. I like to walk my dog. And I like to just be really adventurous um, and have fun with my partner. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Um, speaking of partners, what are some things you look for in a man? Oh, they have to be honest, okay. confident, um, really secure in themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, able to compromise, okay. and we have shared values and beliefs. Got it, got it. Yes. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? If you don't like dogs, like, <laughs> my dog is my everything. So if you don't like dogs, let me know that now. Okay. <laughs> uh, what else? Someone who's a narcissist mm. um, and somebody who's not a decision maker. They have other people make their decisions, such as their family, friends, somebody on the street. Like, I just need you to be a man got it yeah okay cool cool all right so we don't have any balloons popped so i'm actually going to switch it on over to you and i'm going to hand you a pick so <laughs> there you go and i am going to have you pop hmm let's go with two balloons okay based off of what you're seeing you know who may not really be your type whatever it is go ahead and pop those two balloons okay okay Okay, one more. All right, let's start right on over here. Okay. Name and age? John, I'm 31. Okay, and now John, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why so? She's beautiful. I'm not shallow, so I want to hear what she was talking about. You feel me? But, I mean, she's a nice little young, young woman, so I approach her. Okay, got it. <laughs> and now why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, you see, your name is John? Yeah. Well, John, you look really nice. Um, just there wasn't, like, an initial attraction i would say but you seem sweet so respect it yeah <laughs> all right and then we did pop one more let's head on over here your name and age how you doing my name is nati i'm 25 years old okay and nati why did you have your balloon unpopped she's very pretty i like the dress you know orange is a nice color on you thank you uh, i want, just wanted to hear you i could know you better okay got it got it now why do we end up popping his well i would say the same thing like you do look nice um really friendly just there wasn't like initial attraction again okay. but you seem fine <laughs> yeah all right cool all right. really you. respectable <laughs> okay next round i'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these guys a question just to help you narrow it down okay so guys how should the roles and responsibilities be shared in a household Okay, let's start with your name and age, and how should the roles be shared? Oh, my name is Dante, I'm 25. Uh, the roles in the household, I grew up in a traditional household, so dad works and stuff like that, grinds out, makes sure the home is taken care of, the kids are taken care of and stuff like that. Mom does what she's great at, which is nurturing and stuff like that, you feel me? Taking mm -hmm. care of making sure when I come home, everybody's taking care of my kids and stuff like that, making sure she's good. I gotta make sure, hey, if something's not right, yo, let me go take care of that and stuff like that and bring it back home. But I'm very traditional, very, extremely actually. Okay. Name and age and the answer to her question. My name's Ryan, I'm 26. Mm -hmm. And I'll echo that. I'm very traditional as well. So as the man, I would be taking the stereotypical man role where being the breadwinner. And if there's something wrong with the lawnmower, that's on me, um, it's not on you. Uh, I'm carrying in all the groceries, like stuff like that. And then again, assuming we had a family, I would want my wife to be the one leading the uh, nurturing of the children and the educating them and stuff like that. And hopefully she can cook as well. That would be a great bonus because I cannot cook for shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your name and age and the answer to her question. Chris, 27. And I'll say I grew up in a single mom household, so I'm still learning as I go within my, all the relationships I've been through. So, yeah, I usually do take on a more traditional role, like take care of, you know, if she's staying with me, take care of the bills taking care of the the manly stuff, like you said, like all the, like the changing the tire, taking out the trash, all of that. But as far as like monetarily, like I grew up seeing my mom do it all, you know? So I need another woman that can, she doesn't have to do it all, but she had to be able to do something, you know? Mm -hmm. I do like a little Miss Independent a little bit. Okay. 
All right, name and age and answer to your question. I'm Trey, 25. Uh, I've seen both done uh, effectively in terms of both partners working and one partner, uh, I had a stay at home mom later in my life. So I really believe in what does the home need? Like right. that's between the two people to understand. Like you, for example, you're in law school. That's mm -hmm. a very high paying job. It'd be, it'd be crazy of me to ask you to, to sacrifice that entirely and not chase after this dream. Cause law school is a lot, that's high school, college and some old school, some old school. <laughs> and so I believe in understanding like, hey, tonight might not be uh, a you night to wash dishes. Tonight might not be a, a, a you night to, to, to set up everything for the kids. Cause I, I, I'll be honest, I can change a tire. I have AAA and it works though. <laughs> and so I would much rather not. Now, if it's hot and we in Phoenix, like, I, if need be, <laughs> but my AAA works. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I believe, in, I believe in modernity and I believe in like progressing those roles. They don't have to be static like they were in the past. Okay, okay that's good. And then we did get a pop. Mm -hmm. Let's head down over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yeah, I'm Key, 28. Uh, I pop just cause uh, you know, she's a law student. Uh, that's a lot of time, you know, I'm, I'm a business owner. Mm -hmm. And so you've been a law student, like my time is limited. Your time is gonna be limited. That's a lot of school and everything, trying to build a family and whatnot. Uh, and then also, I mean, you're a pretty woman, mm -hmm. but just not really, uh, just not too attracted. But mm -hmm. I mean, you don't look bad at all. <laughs> now, is he someone that's your type? Um, you look decent, but I mean, like you're decent, like. Okay. It looked like you tried. Um. <laughs> hey, that's what's up. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're decent. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. It's all good. Thank mm -hmm. you. Right. <laughs> okay, and we did get a pop back here. Why did we end up popping? So, if we look in long term, you know, building a family, I'm a little taller. You know, nothing gets the short queens. I love the short queens, but see, you just look like you're like five foot, maybe. So like it's a little, you know. So I like I'm like a little taller, I'm a five six, five eight. Got it, got it. <laughs> now is he someone that's your type? Um, you look fine, but like for a partner, I'm looking for someone more like. I don't know, more dapper. Dapper. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Yeah. I, I be putting it on, I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> I wear suits, so I just, you know? It's cool though. Okay, got it. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we do have two left, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, three. You keep hiding that <laughs> balloon. <laughs> All right, so we have three mm -hmm. left. Uh, go ahead and ask these guys another question. Okay. What are some qualities that you look for in a partner? Okay, what are some qualities to look for? Uh, number one's major is respect. Um, I don't care really about the love and everything. Respect comes with honesty, communication, everything else and stuff like that. If you're going to respect me, you're gonna do what's right at the end of the day. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So at first and then it's just like rappers say, I don't want love, mm -hmm. loyalty, da, da, da. I want respect, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I grew up on that. Respect my father, respect my coaches, respect the pastors and shit, respect the homeless people when I go to give stuff out for community service and shit like that, you mm -hmm. feel me? It's just a different thing growing up like, I used to be look big and shit like that. People didn't respect me. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like they overlooked me and shit like so it's something deeper, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Um it stole my answer. Respect first, but I'll, I'll add to that. I also think someone who's peaceful. I'm looking just for someone who can be my peace because I go through stressful situations and I've got my own stuff going on. So having a woman do what she does best, which is be like that peaceful, feminine energy. Mm -hmm. That's what I care most about. Okay. Let's head on over here. Name and age. No, just answer the question. Sure, got your name. And make it make a show. <laughs> uh, I believe versatility, mm -hmm. ambition, and empathy are are really important for a partner because I don't. I was talking about modernity earlier. I don't believe in one thing. I don't believe in like a, a single track mind. I don't believe in somebody not wanting to venture out and be broad and trying to, and you said you were adventurous, so that's already, yeah. that's already a check. But mm -hmm. along with that, I need somebody that loves God and not just like, oh, God is cool, woody, 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 but what's your sign? No, I need somebody that, that loves God for real, for real. And so if you don't have that, you just go ahead. Yeah. But all three, all four of those things. Yeah, I'm a believer. Amen. Come on yes. now. Eba. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. It is time to pop a oh, balloon. I can ask another question. No. Oh. Let's go ahead and pop. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, what do we end up popping his? Well, you have muscles. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, it was like a workout. Yeah, I, do. I appreciate um, you. Do you typically like wear this attire or? Uh, genuinely, so I'm from Michigan. I'm a country boy. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, Roy, so I want to go back to the country and shit. But I dab her down like everybody else and shit, but I don't care about society's norms. I look good. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to wear what I'm going to want to wear. Yeah. You feel me? Okay, that was really, I just had to pop someone the other time. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I like now, your answer. Though. Is she someone that's your type? Uh, yes, for sure, 100%. You feel me? Like, I, on offense a little bit, I wanted to hear her out, what she's really going to say and stuff like that, and, you know, see how good she's going to articulate uh, her answers and stuff like that. You see the death in it and stuff like that, but she's did well, did very well. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, so our two remaining guys, any questions for our girl lady? Yes. Um, what is oh, her? she's asking. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Oh, it's okay. You can ask. <laughs> <laughs> you were ready. Oh. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Well, I was going to ask for you guys occupations. Okay. Occupations. Mm -hmm. um, I own two different media companies, so making YouTube videos and stuff like that is really the main gig. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then while we're here, any questions for her? I was going to ask, what do you think your life's purpose is? My life's purpose. Well, I would say because I'm in law school, I went to law school because I want to help disadvantaged communities and just get them out of the situations that they're in. For instance, instance, I do want to go into criminal law and be a prosecutor or a defender, um, especially within my community in the Cleveland neighborhood. So I just really want to give back. Are you, is that where you live, Cleveland? Or Yes, I'm from Cleveland. Okay. Yes, I have that Indians. Oh. Hat. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm still gonna pipe. Um, I, I gotta pop it. Sorry. Um, cause it's too far for me. Okay. Yeah. Where are you from? I live in LA. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Let's head on over here. And then what was what? What do you do? Yes. And then if you have any questions for her. Got you. Uh, I'm a development project manager at a tech company. Uh, right now. And then question I have for you. I was gonna ask something similar to purpose, mm -hmm. but. What is something that your friends would say two years ago you struggled with, but you've made significant growth in today? Wow. I would question. say <laughs> that they would say that I struggle with like moving on from situations that no longer serve me. So I feel like I really developed from that today. Um, just being able to put the past behind me, look towards the future, know that there's better things happening, better things to come for me. And I feel like they would really respect that. Like, she's able to boss up, move on, and be a better person. Okay. All right, All right let me have you, come on up, come on up. Let's walk back over here, y'all, come on. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, any final questions between the two of you before we determine if this is a match? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. just and keep it a bill. Am I fine to you? Okay. Like, like fine. <laughs> like I, like I'm going. I'm walking into your church, and and yo, 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 deaconess is looking at. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think you are attractive for sure. Um, I like your outfit. I like the way that you carried yourself. Thank you. Um, I like that you listened to my answers. Of course. Um, you're a great listener. Um, but you said. Like, fine, like, I spot yeah. you out, and I'm like, ooh, I want him. Yeah. Not necessarily, but, you know, my types do change when I look at the person's personality and how they present themselves, but. But you say you still find him attractive. Yes, he's attractive. Yeah. Why you looking at me like that? Because <laughs> you looking for a reason to pop. <laughs> no, nah. nah, I'm, I'm a sucker for a middle part now. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, I, 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 I tell you what. All right, let's go. Good. All right. So then, with that being said, is it going to be a yes for you for her? Yes, Lord. <laughs> and is it a yes for you for him? You said? Oh, no, I was. Is it a yes for you for him? Okay, what's what happened? Why he ended well, up popping? I just feel like maybe for me it wasn't like an immediate yes, and I feel like when you're in a relationship, you need that like immediate like yeah, like I want him, like let's go. But oh, that's why I asked. That what was I asked. it. Yeah, yeah, I just 
the environment like, maybe it could progress to that but not just i agree initially. i mean the environment this environment is made for like stuff yeah, like that exactly. i just want you to be sure that this is something that like you're not mm -hmm. gonna go home two weeks later and go back home and be like he's not really even that cute like yeah. I don't, that's not for trey yeah all right well thank you you can head back over there all right well that is all the popped balloons but we do thank you for coming on i'll take this mic thank you. and let's go ahead and give it up for her guys All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Dorian. Dorian, how old are you? I'm 27. Okay, and what do you do? Um, I work for a Fortune 50 um, company as an insurance agent. I also rap. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, uh, I know you see rap. What else do you do for fun? Um, for fun, I like to travel a lot. I like to stamp my passport. I'm very adventurous, skydiving, jet skiing, whatever the world brings us. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, what is... Wow. Damn. <laughs> okay. Y'all don't like to travel? I guess not. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? What do I look for in a man? I really like an outgoing guy. I'm a very outgoing person respectful, um, emotionally intelligent, and I also like a man that makes as much money as me, or more. Mm, okay. Exactly, nice. get the bag. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers, <sighs> felonies, but the felonies as far as sexual, mm. violent, small penis. <laughs> deal breaker. <laughs> All right, so Period. we did get. I'm just being honest. We did get a couple pop balloons. That's fine. Let's go ahead and they see why they didn't pop it. Mm -hmm. All right, your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Oh, uh, my name's Dante. I'm 25. And why'd you pop Dante? Don't don't get on me internet, bro. Um, spots on your stain in your little dress. I you was in the bag drunk, so whatever. Oh yeah, you feel me? I can't it's do fine. That. It's a $300 dress. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's the three hundred dollar dress. My bad. I got a little makeup on it. Just to show, it's like you paying attention to care and stuff like that. You feel mm. me? You trying to be presentable? Just that, yeah. Okay. You feel me? That's Respect all. that. She's pretty, pretty. Mm. Gracias. You agree? Mm -hmm. Now is he someone that's your type? Um, no, I'm not going. Where are you from? From Michigan. He's from Michigan, and he has a cowboy hat on. No, I can see if he's from Texas or something. I feel like Southern boys wear cowboy hats. I'm not a big fan of the cowboy hat. Y'all are so mean. <laughs> They got country boys in Michigan. <laughs> Anyways, next. Name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Ryan. I'm 26. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. And I think you just had an unwelcoming demeanor. And that was it. We know why. I mean, you know, everybody popped their balloon, so I might as well be honest. I mean, I, I don't want to get into it, but I can understand why you would think I have an unwelcoming demeanor. But you're very handsome, Ryan. I love your dimples, but I'm actually very much a sweetheart. Next. Okay. <laughs> Name and age and why you ended up popping? Chris, 27. Mm -hmm. Just because I don't do no skydiving. No, I'm, I'm scared of heights. Mm. And so I had, I had problems with my past. With my last girl, she was tweaking with me. Because I didn't want to do the little, with the, uh, the Superman thing in Vegas. We then broke up over that. Oh. Yeah, it was bad. Okay. Okay. And you said your name is? Chris. Chris. So you popped my balloon because you don't like skydiving? You said you like doing adventure stuff, skydiving. What'd you say? Jumping out of airplanes, uh, roller coasters. I don't do that. I mean, but she asked me what I like to do. She didn't ask you what you like to do. But I mean, I understand if you like skydiving. We could have went on a nice dinner date. You're very handsome. I love the Balabas's pants. I got a couple pair myself. Mm. I like the outfit. You know, I don't think you, I think you're going to regret popping your balloon. But I understand if you don't want to go <laughs> skydiving. Everybody need a woman to get them out their comfort zone. So now, apart from her saying, you know, the skydiving, whatever it is, is she someone that is your type? Yeah, for sure. Okay. You know, I mean, I, I like the demeanor. I ain't gonna lie. Thank you. That ain't a problem with me at all. Mm -hmm. I like the demeanor. I wouldn't make you skydive. If you said no, I would take no for an answer. Okay. Yeah. But okay. you can follow my Instagram. I think I can get you to skydive. You think so? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel a little vibe here. You want that balloon back? He don't got to take his balloon back. We not begging. Let's go to the next. Oh, no. We're not begging, <laughs> but he looks like he's feeling you, girl. He it's looks cool. like he's feeling you. If you don't want to skydive, I understand, but you got to get out your comfort zone. You got to explore different things. You got to enjoy your life. You young, so. Hey, you ain't lying. Yeah. You're good. We going to move on then. 
<laughs> All right, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is John. I'm 31. Mm-hmm. And I popped my balloon because you came out a little aggressive. You feel me? I like femininity. I'm not saying you not feminine, but your demeanor, maybe it's the liquor, you feel me? But No. And I think we're from the same city, and I'm Mm-mm. not trying to date no women from that. So. Oh, you from Indianapolis? I'm from Indiana. Oh, my so. gosh, I love that. So, first of all, what side of Indianapolis are you I'm from? from the east side. What part? Uh, Arlington. You from Arlington, like yeah. 46? 46 in Arlington. All right, shout out to the east side of Indianapolis. Shout out. If you're from Indianapolis, you know why I'm like I am the way I am. I'm from the east side. I mean, aggressive is crazy. Femininity is crazy. I feel like my hair is done, my nails is I'm done. I'm not saying you're not feminine. I said, but you came out a little aggressive. And Did I cuss? Like, you was on a de- defensive mode. No, I think you guys all look handsome. I just, I'm just very, like, this is my personality. I don't feel like I got to tone down for nobody. But I respect that you want somebody that maybe you can run over. Not like that, but... But you're very handsome. I love the slugs. I'm from Indianapolis. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm you, I'm from too. the east side of Indianapolis. Actually, I'm from... Well, maybe like, we need to link on some friendship shit, though. Friendship? Yeah. I don't think I want to be your friend. You embarrass me on public YouTube <laughs> with 1.5 million people. But I think that if you go home and you mention my name, I think that you'll be presently surprised. Like, I can't talk, but anyways, you'll be <laughs> pleasantly surprised. I think you'll actually hit me up after that. Right, well, you're very it. handsome. I love a chocolate man. Love your dreads. You look good. I like the Jordans. 10 out of 10. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. Uh, I'm Trey, 25, and I believe our, our temperaments would clash. Uh, the personalities that we have, uh, I'm not a big fan of, of drunkenness in public <laughs> or okay. just the idea of, it's just how it comes across. It's not, I'm not mm-hmm. tagging you with that. I'm just saying that's how it came across at first. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's really it. I believe, I believe you're actually beautiful. Thank you. You kind of favor Glorilla. That to me, that's why. Glorilla I was, is crazy. I think Glorilla is beautiful. <laughs> I'm dark skin. I think more like Kelly Rowland, but I appreciate the compliment. That's, that's fine as well. Gracias. But, but that's really it. I just believe our temperaments will clash. That's okay. all. Okay. No, okay. Is he someone that's your type? No, he's not my type. Okay, why you not? Know, I I just don't think I would like to be out on a nice dinner date or skydiving with somebody that ha- wears pearls. I'm not drunk at all. A little tipsy, you know, they gave us some drinks in the back, but I feel like I'm really put together. I feel like I'm carrying carrying myself classy. That's but cool. if that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. I don't like the pants. I'm going <laughs> to be honest. I think that since you're light skin, you should have worn something a little bit more <laughs> Less olive, but okay. But you're handsome though. Thank you. Love your beard. I love the earrings. She I think the it gold a beard, looks. Y'all. Hold on. She called it a beard, y'all. Yeah, I think, I think for a minute. Think, it's a beard I, now. You feel me? I think that honestly, opposites attract. So I feel like if you feel like our temperaments would clash, yeah. I feel like you should get a little bit more confidence. I don't know. I That's think what you, you be doing with some I, match. I think that you should maybe date somebody that is more out there and get you out your comfort zone. I appreciate the input. Yeah, Thank you. You're welcome, handsome. Okay. Let's yeah. Let's over here. Mm-hmm. Your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm so sad. How are you doing? My name is Nati. I'm 25 years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, I popped my balloon. I just didn't like the going back and forth with people. It's just not for me. That's all. Okay. You're very pretty. You know. Gracias for the compliment. Thank you. I'm not going to say it's going back and forth. Going back and forth sounds more like an argument. I feel like you guys stated your opinions about me and how you felt. And I feel like I gave you my opinions about y'all. I don't think it's a go- going back and forth. I think that we're all adults and we should respect, um, respect each other's opinions. So, I mean, if that's how you feel, that, that's a red flag to me. Because imagine if we didn't agree on something and I said what I said and you said what you said. Now you feel like I'm going back and forth like a kid. No, it's just we just disagree. But I respect that. I think you're very handsome. Your hair is curly. You look good. Thank you. I like the shirt. Where you get it from? <laughs> My mama. Your My mom. Mama. <laughs> Bless your mom. She's a great mom. It, it's nice. It's well tailored. No, it's real tailored. I like the gold. I like that. You, you look good. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Let's go to our next guy. Mm-hmm. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? I really want to know. Uh, yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. Mm-hmm. Uh, really, uh, to be honest, man, the physical attraction just isn't there. But I was going to give you a chance. I was going to hear you out. You know, it's not, I mean, you don't look bad at all. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you, you know, you look pretty good. But then you said you rap. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm not really cool with that. And then all the traveling and stuff. So, like, the rapping, the traveling, the mm-hmm. being out, it's just, I don't like a busy woman like that. That's too, doing a little bit too much. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's understandable. Like, you pretty much. It went back and forth almost every dude up here. No. So I feel like it kind of a little argumentative a little bit. So, like, I can see us being out on a date and you 
going back and forth with a waiter because something ain't cooked right. Or, like, wow. So you think I d uh, disrespect uh, civilians and people that serve other people and do their job? Oh, these do civilians. They're civilians, but they all gave their opinion on me and what they didn't like about me, and I gave my opinion about back. But I'm just saying it was real. Like, it was, it was pretty strong. Like, it wasn't it's really – I'm not saying you don't have class, but I'm just saying it wasn't, like, classy, like how you okay. conduct yourself. Okay, I'll wait he's done. It's but, my time. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, you go ahead. Okay, physical attraction. So what's the physical attraction? I would love for you to get in detail. I mean, it's just not like if, if I seen you out in a grocery store in a mall or something, I just like, I mean, you, like I said, you don't look bad. I just wouldn't really approach you like that. What's your type? My type? I mean. <laughs> yeah, I would love what you are physically attracted to since you're not physically attracted yeah. to me, which I'm not really. I mean, I like, I like natural hair. Uh-huh. Um, like I said, I'm gonna keep it real. It's not so much like be honest. You can be pretty, but like the way you carry yourself can make you. I ain't gonna say ugly, but it can all that go out the window. So you felt like I carried myself okay, aggressively. A little bit. I, like I said, I don't know if it was the the drinks, but it was. No, this is it, how okay, I am all the time. It wasn't pleasant. I say that. It wasn't pleasant. Yeah. Do y'all all feel that way? I don't see no. Balloon I feel like y'all. I feel like y'all intimidated. I feel like I'm a very pleasant person. I feel like I understand the physical attraction. Me too. I pay attention to detail. I feel like you're dark skin. Your hair is pretty. You got a nice look to your, you know, face, whatever. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate Me it. personally, I wouldn't put on no Dolce Cabanas because I feel like they played out because I'm into swag or whatever the case may be. That's all good. I feel like my attitude is actually very great. I feel like any man that dates me is going to be overwhelmed with me just supporting his confidence and me building him up. I feel like that if you guys don't like a woman that likes to have a conversation or maybe disagree every once in a while, then y'all should reevaluate re -evaluate yourself. Um, also, as far as you saying that I'm the type of person that you feel like if we were outside in a waitress or a waiter um said that I got into it with them or whatever you said I'm sorry I was kind of listening um I think that is very um I don't know word I don't know how to describe it but I mean I go on five-star dinner restaurants all the time people make mistakes I'm not gonna fault anybody or be disrespectful because they make mistakes but if somebody says something to me I am gonna speak my mind and then I'm gonna give my man a chance to give me their opinion and I'm gonna go back head on back all right. Well, that is all the balloons popped, mm -hmm. but we do thank you for coming on. Thank Let's you. go ahead and give it up for her, guys. I'll take this mic. Oh, <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Okay, girl, you better walk. <laughs> Thank you everyone for tuning into this episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. If you'd like to be featured in any of our upcoming episodes, the link to the submission form will be in the description box below. Make sure you go ahead and fill it out to be considered. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you all next time. Make some noise, y'all.